When do you think would be a good time of the year to start looking for wildflowers? Well, how about the middle of February? Here we are in the woods and these hazel catkins are in full flower. If we were to just knock the right one, then you'd see the pollen coming off the catkins. These are the male part of the flower and that pollen is going to drift through the air and if it's lucky, some of it will land on a female flower. We haven't actually found a female flower this morning. They're very hard to spot. They come out of the buds, a fat bud like that one, and you'd see four pink strands. So when you go looking at the hazels, look out for the female flowers as well, but you'll have to look very carefully. The hazels in this woodland are maintained as coppice. The one over here we can see how that happens. Oh. On a cycle of roughly 20 years, the hazels are chopped down. So you can see these hazels were chopped down last year and already in one year they've grown so much. The hazels themselves are not really what this environment is kept for. This is an environment maintained particularly for butterflies and particularly for some of the rare fritillaries. And the hazels are important because of what grows underneath the hazels. If you come over here and have a look we'll see if we can find some of those flowers. So, not so much flowers but plants. If we root around, we may find underneath these old hazel leaves that have been lying around all winter, we might find either some primroses or, all right, even some snow there. And they're very, very small, some violets. And if we were to root around a bit longer, we'd find primroses as well. And these are the larval food of those fritillary butterflies. So the butterflies come, they fly through the woods here, and they lay their eggs on the violets and on the primroses, and the larvae, the caterpillars, eat those. So what we've created here, what has been created here, is a very diverse environment with all these plants working together to provide just the right conditions for some very rare and special wildlife.